Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of dividing decimals. This is standard 5.3G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a farmer dividing 124 and 8 tenths pounds of berries equally into eight baskets. How many pounds of berries went into each basket? So let's open up our graph draw feature. It is a pretty straightforward problem because if you read it carefully, they tell you exactly what to do. Look at this, divided. All right, so we have to use a little bit of division and they're gonna tell us equally what they're gonna go into, right? So if we wanted to do a strip diagram, we could kind of do it like this. We got 124.8 or 124 and 8 tenths. And we're going to equally go into eight backs, baskets. So I'm going to draw a hole, cut it in half to make halves, cut each half and half to make fourths, cut each fourth and half to make eighths. All right, so that's, that's my representation there. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like it's long division. All right, so let's go eight into, and I'll use these little squares to kind of keep me, keep me going, point 0.8. Now, the thing about dividing with decimals is that if you have a decimal in the divisor, right, so here is my uh, divisor, you need to move it out by shifting the divisor and the dividend uh, into, you know, to the left or the right to get rid of that decimal. We don't have a decimal in the divisor. Uh, we have a decimal in the dividend. That's the number you're dividing into. The answer up here is going to be my quotient, right? That's my answer. So as long as your div, uh, decimal is in your dividend, you're good. If it's in the divisor, you got to shift everything to get it out of there. So all we're going to do is we're going to move the decimal up to the quotient bar, and then we're good. We're going to divide like normal. We're going to pretend that it's just 8 into 1,248. We're going to completely ignore the decimal once we move it up there. So 8 goes into 12. All right, it doesn't go into 1. goes into 12 one time. So we'll put the answer right up above. Use these little squares if you've got them. To keep things nice and neat and ordered. So 1 times 8 is going to be 8. Subtract. Always check to make sure is your remainder less than your divisor. Yes, 4 is less than 8. If it's equal or greater, you messed up and you got to divide a little bit bigger. We only bring down one number at a time. So now we're going to do 44. We're going to ignore the date for now. Divide all over again. 8 goes into 44. We have to know our facts. 8 times 6 is 48. That's too big. I'm going to do 8 times 5. That's going to be 40. Subtract 4 again is 4 less than 8? Yes, your remainder always needs to be less than your divisor. Okay, so bring down our last number, make it 48, and that's a, that's a fact that we should know. Okay, so 6 times 8, 48, so it looks like it goes in, right, 15.6 times, or 15 and 6 tenths, which uh, is one of our answers now. If we want to double check, easy way to do that is to go ahead and multiply this 15 and 6 tenths or 15.6. Go ahead and multiply that by the 8. And when you do that, you should be able to get back to your 124.8. So 15.6 times 8. Now when we multiply with the decimal, we just ignore the decimal. We'll bring it back in at the end. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 5 is 40. Carry that 4 is 44. 8 times 1 is 8, and that 4 is 12. Now, there's one digit behind the decimal in my factor. Both factors just have one digit behind the decimal. There's nothing behind the decimal in that, in that second factor because it's right there. So I need one digit behind the decimal in my product, 124.8 or 124 and 8 tenths. I got back to where I needed to go. So 15 and 6 tenths is my answer, which is D.